Hey everyone, my name is Patrick, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the G Suite App Connector in one login. We're going to set up single sign-on first using SAML, specifically one click, which will auto-configure the SAML settings for you, making it completely painless. In the second video, I'm going to cover provisioning, and we're going to provision users to G Suite, and then also provision them with specific entitlements. Alright, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is head up to Apps, and then add apps. And I'm going to type in G Suite. I'm going to select G Suite, which is the second from the top. Next, select Save. And the first thing I'm going to do is head to the Configuration tab, and I'm going to type in my domain. and select save. Head back to the configuration tab, and now we're gonna authenticate over the API via OAuth. So select authenticate, then select G Suite, and you need to log into your G Suite account as the G Suite admin, and my account owner is also the G Suite admin. Now this could be a super user in your organization, it doesn't really matter, just as long as you are authenticating with the G Suite API with a Google Apps admin or a G Suite admin, you should be fine. I'm going to allow. Next, I'm going to head to the parameters tab and I'll quickly just cover the parameters that we use when we're sending SAML assertions over. The most important one is just the email. We match with email name part. So you can change that if you'd like, but I'm going to leave it at email name part, which is just the first part of the email that we're matching against. There are some other entitlements here that we'll talk about more when we get into the provisioning piece. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to the SSO tab. And as you can see, there's two tabs here. Now with most applications in one login, in fact, every application in one login, with the exception of G Suite and Office 365, you will only see one tab. However, you have two tabs here on the SSO tab. One is for one-click setup, and one is for manual configuration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up with one click. Okay, so maybe two. And just that quickly, because of the API connection we've already secured, we have sent over all of the SAML information to G Suite. And now it's just basically saying, you know what, at this point you should test it. And that's true. Every single time I set up SAML, I always test it with a couple of test users. And then I verify, once I verify that it's working, I then set up provisioning. So now that that's done, why don't we go ahead and assign it to some users? So let's head to the Access tab. And what I can do is I can assign this application to the test role. Now I already have some users who are assigned to that test role. So when I send it to that test role, the users in that test role will have the application assigned to them and I'll be able to test with those users. Now because we don't have provisioning enabled, and we're not going to be creating anybody, we need to make sure that the users we're testing with are already in G Suite and that the parameters match up. And my parameters match up. So my users that are already in G Suite, their email name part will match against the email and I'll be fine. So I'm going to select Save. Now one other thing we're going to do is we're going to head back to the SSO tab and scroll down. And I'm going to allow Assume Sign-In so that I can log in as my users and then log in as them into the application to test. I'm going to do this in an incognito browser because I'll already have an open session in my current Chrome browser. And this will just make sure that there isn't any confusion. So I'll open up an incognito window and we'll test with the test user.